Welcome. I am using two square pictures in a background, so drag down the picture and extend it to 10 seconds. Now add five more video tracks. Now drag down a square picture, extend to 10 seconds, afterward go to effect to apply border effect. Further apply the TV wall effect. Now click and go to image to scale up to 267. Further go to mask to apply rectangular mask. Then scroll down to width to type 22.26 and height 22.20. Then invert mask as shown. Now go to the image. Scroll down to apply a drop shadow. Pick a black color, and increase the distance to 20. Scroll up to rotation, apply keyframe then move playhead to the end. Go back to type 276. Now click the keyframe panel, highlight the keyframe point, then right click to apply easy in then preview afterward. Click the picture to copy the effect, drag down another square picture, extend, and paste the effect. Only click the second keyframe to add minus to 276. Now click, Go to transform to scale to 213. Highlight both pictures, right click to copy and paste below from track 3. Now click the first pasted picture to scale down to 158. Also, click the second pasted picture to scale down to 109. Further drag down any square picture. Then scale down to 38.10. Now go to mask to apply AI mask. Then scroll down to select subject to remove the background. As you can see, the background has been removed. Further go to image to apply drop shadow. Also increase its distance to 20. Also go to effect, under video effect, select shake to apply heartbeat effect then click the picture, go to effect to reduce its opacity to 3. Let preview. Now highlight all, right click to create a compound clip and name it. Now right click to apply freeze frame then reduce the freeze frame to 1 second. So within the freeze frame, go to scale and apply the keyframe from 600 to 100 restoration. Lastly, click the keyframe panel, highlight all keyframe points, and then right click to ease out. Thanks for watching, you are awesome. Please subscribe for more. Now let's preview.